Okay, so we're back with the dragster, and um, I'm going to follow TSA 2015 rules. And this year's rules have a really short car with a stand the standard TSA wheelbase that minimum of 105 and maximum of like 270, but the maximum length that the car can be is 210. Um, in order to accommodate this, I'm going to draw the front wheels under the car like a shell car and the back wheels out of the car because there's really no way to put back wheels in and front wheels in, maintain the wheelbase, and get a car over it uh, with this teeny tiny uh, measurement they gave us. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in offset, enter, 210, enter. And that gives me the length of the car that I can actually use. This is one of the smallest ones I've seen them do in a while. And now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the wheels. And I'm going to start with the back wheel. And you need to refer to whatever um, catalog your teacher gets their wheels from. Um, I'm using the Pitsco catalog. And I am going to use the Fusion tires uh, for the back wheels because minimum weight is only 50 grams. And Fusions are the smaller tires. They have a smaller mass. And... Um, Given the way how short this car is, I think it's going to work better. Um, and they do meet the requirements because the minimum diameter is 30, and these are 33.2. So figuring out where you want the back line, back uh, wheel to go is the f next challenge. So I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to type in offset, enter, and I'm going to go 25. And that puts the axle hole somewhere around here. Now the other measurement before we draw the circle is this strange measurement that TSA has that says the bottom of the axle hole to the bottom of the car has to be between 5 and 10 millimeters and it's not measured on center which is like usually how we draw stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset the bottom line 10 enter click it up that way that the bottom of the axle hole will wind up being like eight and a half if you cut the entire car right. So now let's go ahead and draw that circle. I'm going to actually click on circle center diameter and I'm going to make sure I'm on my object layer. With object snap on I can find the center of the uh, circle pretty easily. X marks the spot. Click, type in the diameter which on these guys is 33.2 and it came out on center. Easy fix, right click on it. Better yet, click on it, come up here, find your hidden layer, whoops, no, we want object, object layer, enter, and now it's actually on the right layer. Now to figure out where we're going to put the wheel underneath it is a bit more of a challenge. Because of the height of these wheels and wanting to be able to cut a aerodynamic shape around them, you're going to probably have to send this guy back at least 25. So I'm going to hit escape because I'm in some command. Type offset, enter. We'll do 25, enter. Click the line, click to the right of it. That's still looking really small. So I'm going to do enter, offset, enter and let's go 20 from that. Click the line, click to the right of it. And before we even bother putting the wheel on, let's come up here and go to annotate, dimension, linear, pick the center, pick the center, and we're at 140 which is good. Go back home, circle, center diameter, X marks the spot, and of course I'm drawn on the wrong layer but I can fix that. And we are using the GTFX wheels, which are the Pitsco inside wheels, and they are 34.25. So I'm going to click on that, come up here, go to object, and even though um, half of this is going to wind up being a hidden line, I'm going to draw it as an object line for right now. I'm going to click on this line here and press delete because I don't need it anymore. Now. I'm just going to stay on the center layer for this. We always want to make sure our wheels are even. So go line, 
Click on the down arrow next to Object Snap, pick Object Snap Settings, and make sure the diamond is turned on. Diamond is quadrant, and diamonds are a girl's best friend when she's projecting circles in AutoCAD. So let's click on diamond, and we're going to draw straight across. When I want to draw straight across, press F8. F8 makes it go straight. That's Orth Trap. And I really don't want it going to that midpoint. There we go. Escape. Now you can see that my front wheel is actually lower than my back wheel. And it's it's just a hair, um, but I'm going to fix it because it'll drive me crazy if I don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move the back wheel down because I want as much space up here as I possibly can to cut this and make sure I don't go through the top of the car. So I'm going to pick another layer. It doesn't matter. This is just a we use hidden. This is just a construction line. I'm going to click line. I'm going to click on the diamond. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to go all the way across. Enter. I'm going to get rid of the green line because it's just in the way. And now I'm going to use a command called extend. Type in extend. Enter. Click. This line is your boundary. Right click. Select this line. And now if you zoom up, you can see that like it's literally a hair. I'm going to press enter. And now I'm going to use move. Type in move. Click the circle. Left click. And it asks for a base point. So we're going to pick this quadrant as the base point, And we're just going to bring it down until it touches the red line. Enter. And you can go ahead and delete this line. Now your wheels are even. And to bring everything back, zoom, enter, all, enter. Now your wheels are even when they roll, and that's going to be important. So I'm going to go ahead and project the back wheels first. So I'm going to go to Object. I'm going to click on Line. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to get the quadrant. And if and remember, since I move this, don't pick the intersection because it's no longer the intersection. And I'm going to drag this through the car. I need to pan because I'm coming off the page. Okay. Same thing. Type in line, enter, come get the quadrant straight up. Okay. Now we need to actually draw the tires. And when you look at the dimensions for this thing, it tells you that the entire width of the tire is 19.7 millimeters. So I'm going to type in offset 19.7. I'm going to click the purple line. I'm going to come this way. I'm going to click the purple line. I'm going to go that way. But if you look at the tire, there's this thing that sticks out that holds it to the axle. So we need to accommodate that. So type in offset, enter. And that is 19.7 minus 16, so it's going to be 3.7. Click this line, click that line, click this line, click that line. And now you can see this is going to be the tire, and then we're going to put the little piece that connects in the ax to the axle right here. Now because I have stuff on like multiple layers, I'm going to go ahead and click these all these lines and put them on my object layer. By highlighting them and then coming up here and selecting object, it just switches them for me. So now I need to play with the center of this circle. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this line. And I'm going to delete this line. And I'm going to come up to my layers and I'm going to pick center. And I'm going to click on line and then I'm going to come over here to object snap and I'm going to make sure that center is turned on. Okay, notice when I come in I get a circle in the middle of the circle. Okay, guess what? That's the center of the axle. Now, circle, center diameter, we want to be on a hidden layer. And the diameter of the axle is three mil is three millimeters. So it's teeny tiny. And then we're going to project that circle up same way. Remember, get the quadrant straight through. Oops. Escape. 
undo. Control Z is undo because it decided it wanted to find some endpoint I didn't want it to find. Right click, repeat line, drag it straight up, and it's finding everything that it doesn't need to find. Click, right click, enter, and now we just need to trim this mess up. So I'm going to type in trim, trim, enter. I'm going to start with the wheels themselves, so I'm going to highlight these two lines, right click. I can draw a box around these things that are hanging out. And I need to pan again, so I get my little hand. There we go. Click the lines. Get rid of these guys. Enter. Right click, repeat trim. Pick this. Pick that. Right click. Get the lines. Can you see the tires now? Okay. waiting on AutoCAD to cooperate. There we go. Um, now I'm going to trim this mess uh, of the hidden lines. And actually some of these aren't going to wind up being hidden lines. And you'll see why in just a second. Trim. Select this. Select that. Right click. We're going to get rid of all of this. We're going to get rid of all of that by drawing a box around it. We don't need that or that. And now you have wheels. But if you zoom up, you can see this part of the wheel you, is actually visible. So I'm going to come up to my object layer. I'm going to click on line. I'm going to draw these little lines here. Right click, repeat line. Right click, enter. Right click, enter. Right click, repeat line. Right click, enter. And now I have hidden lines under those, and that can be a problem. So I'm just going to come up to Object, and I'm going to turn it off for a minute. And it's going to say, Turn the current layer off, and I'm going to say, Yes. Type in Trim, Enter, pick the outside of the car block as your boundaries, right click. You only want to get the hidden lines. You can leave the center lines. Okay, enter, come up here, turn object layer back on, and there are your awesome wheels. Okay, now should the center line stick out into the wheel? Yes, so how do we do that, guys? Offset, enter, three, enter, come this way. I'm gonna do the same thing in the top wheel once I pan out. Okay, enter, and then extend, enter, click this line, click that line, right click, pick your center line, pick your center line going this way, enter, click these two lines and delete. Okay, and we'll do the front wheels in another video.